I want to show you this interactive applet I made. A little bit of background. If you get a series of pendulums with varying lengths and set them swinging, they start off together, then become out of sync, then create some hypnotic wave-like patterns before eventually coming back together again. So I made this little app in processing that simulates the swinging of a series of pendulums. You start with a set of 20 circles. These represent the bobs of the pendulums. All they do is move back and forth sinusoidally. The first circle moves slowly, like a pendulum on a long string. Now circle number two moves twice as fast. Circle three moves three times as fast as the first, and so on up to the 20th, which moves back and forth 20 times by the time the first circle has moved back and forth once. This is like a pendulum on a short string. The numbers to the right of the circles are the frequencies relative to that of circle number one. And that's all there is to the mechanics of it. Now on the left, there are a few options to play around with. You can choose to draw a line connecting all of the circles. If you do that, it looks like the circles form a spiral that's spinning around. You can also draw two lines that each connect every other circle. One line connects circles 1 to 3 to 5 and so on, while the other connects 2 to 4 to 6. These lines give it a DNA-like double helix effect to the pendulums. And you can even draw three lines where each connects every third circle. Of course, you can also have the other lines enabled as well. This gives the appearance of a solid, like, twisting sculpture. If 20 circles just aren't cutting it for you, click this button to try out 40. That's a lot of circles. And here you can turn off the labels behind the animation if you prefer a cleaner look. There's also a couple of timing options. You can pause the animation and resume, and you can also toggle between slower and faster movement. And at the bottom there is a phase indicator. When the dial is at zero, all the circles are lined up. All of these buttons are clickable, of course, but they also have keyboard shortcuts for your convenience. Now what's most interesting about this simulation is that I've seen these undulating patterns before in real life, and not just on pendulums. It was on a machine. This machine. It's got these bars that rock up and down and produce the exact same patterns as the simulation. But this raises many questions like, how does this machine work? What does it do? Who built it? And the most important question of all, is this machine astonishing? Click here to find out. Seriously, you'll never know if the machine is astonishing or not if you don't click the link. Don't you want to know if it's astonishing? Come on, click it. Oh, and if you want to play around with this simulation, it's on openprocessing.org, as well as my personal website, stevecrayons.com, both linked in the description below. If you like these pendulums, you might also like another applet I made called Sum Sum Signs. It allows you to visualize the addition of sine waves. There are tons of buttons and sliders that give you all sorts of control. It makes some pretty cool patterns. You can click here for a video tutorial. For a video tutorial that goes through all the controls. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.